and if you want photoshop to use a particular place to fill your background just click on this plus icon and make a selection of the place which you want photoshop to use to fill your background so you get the point so right now i don't want photoshop to use my subject to fill the background i want photoshop to just use this uh, backdrop right here to fill those other places so i'm just going to remove my subject out of the selections like this hello everyone today here and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to extend your backdrop or your background in photoshop using content aware so let's get started so this is my image right here so let me just zoom in you can see this part right here i want to fill them with the background i want to fill this part right here with the background and also i want to fill this part right here with the background as well i want to fill this part right here with the background as well this part right here so the first thing i'm going to do i'll come to my polygonal lasso tool right here or my lasso tool but i prefer using the polygonal lasso tool because i'll have more control so i'll just make a selection of this part right here like this And I'll make another selection of this part right here by holding my shift key. And once I see this plus icon, I'll just click and take my hands off shift key and just keep clicking and dragging. Just keep clicking and dragging to make a selection of a particular place like this. And I'll come back to where I started from. I'll just click on it. And also, I want to make a selection of this place right here. I'll just hold my shift key again. Once I see this plus icon, I'll just click and drag to make a selection of that place like that so basically i'm selecting the areas which i want to fill with this my backdrop so that's what i just did so after making the selection what i'm going to do i'll come to my edit and i'll come to my content aware fill not fill content aware fill so once i click on content aware fill so once i'm on this page this part that has that are blue is the part that photoshop is going to select to fill these edges so I just want to remove this my subject from the part because I don't want Photoshop to use my subjects to fill the background. I just want Photoshop to make a selection of the background like that. So I'm just going to remove my subject from the selection so that Photoshop will not use my subject to fill those areas. So to remove an area which you don't want Photoshop to use to fill the background, just click on this minus Q right here to remove a particular place which you don't want Photoshop to use to fill this part of it. And if you want Photoshop to use a particular place to fill your background just click on this plus icon and make a selection of the place which you want photoshop to use to fill your background so you get the point so right now i don't want photoshop to use my subject to fill the background i want photoshop to just use this uh, backdrop right here to fill those other places so i'm just going to remove my subject out of the selections like this and once i finish doing that it's loading right now so once it's finished loading photoshop will automatically fill these edges for me so let's just wait for a moment and Photoshop will automatically fill these edges for me. So you can see Photoshop has automatically filled these edges for me. So once I'm done like this, I'll just click on OK. OK. So after that, I'll just click on Ctrl D to deselect. So let's see our before and after. These are before, these are it was before, and these are after content our FE. So the next thing I'm going to do, I want to expand or extend this background. And to do that, I'll just create a stamp visible layer by clicking on Ctrl Shift Alternate E. And after that, I'll come to my crop tool. And I'll first of all straighten this image because I feel it's bent. So I'll just straighten this image like this. So after I finish straightening it, I'll just expand my image the way I want. The way I want it to be. I feel it's okay like this. So you can expand it the way you want it to be. Or you can come to your ratio and choose any ratio you want. But for this I'm just going to believe in it in um, width times height, which is the default. And just expand it the way I want. So I think I like it like this. My, my subject is in the middle. And after that, I'll just come up here. Make sure your content aware is checked. So if your content aware is not checked, click on it. Make sure it's checked. And just click on okay and photoshop will automatically fill these areas for me with the background okay now let's see our before and after these are before and these are after 
but you can see photoshop did not do an amazing job because if you look up here you can see the colors right here are different if you also look at this edge the colors right here are different so to fix that all you have to do is create another stamp visible layer by clicking on ctrl shift alternate e so once you create another stamp visible layer just pick your patch tool and just zoom in a little bit use your patch tool to fill those areas make sure your mode is on normal and source is checked and division is on five or you can increase it to seven if you want but if i leave in mind on five or six so just use your close time tool to select an area which you want to work on like that so let's see this is the before and this is the after so this is how you extend or expand your background in photoshop i hope you learned something for this video if you do leave a like so that more people can see this video and also learn from this video i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative